and you know what this is by the title. So we're going to open it up. I got it from Evans Cycles, but I'm not going to show you that. So here we are. I've been waiting to get one of these for quite some time because the one I've got, which is a different brand, is not totally waterproof. I mean, if you're in the rain for a long time, the stuff inside could still get wet. So this is going on my touring bike. But first I need to take the like bracket thing for the old handlebar bag off of the touring bike. So I'm going to get that done and I'll bring you back. Right, so I'm just getting around to taking the old mount off. It's not a bad bag, I'm not going to get rid of it, but I wanted someone that is, you know, guaranteed to be totally waterproof. So, yeah, I just need to get in the best position to not block my light. We're going to take the GPS mount off, which will... We'll find some other way to put back on, because... I'm not going to show you too much of this. I don't want to drag it out. This bicycle computer is basically a waste of time, so it's overcomplicated compared to the Garmin. So I think I'm going to scrap that. I'm probably have a GPS on there. So I'm going to get this mount off, and we'll get on with putting a new one on. Right, so as you can see, we're taking the old mount off. And I don't ever have to take the bell and this light off it. That unclips anyway. So we'll get the new bag unboxed. Right, here it is. Smells them um, near it, does. <laughs> well, there's nothing in the box, nothing else, rather. But I'll go to work and get chucked in the recycling bin. So here it is. Expensive, but going to be worth the money. Right, I'll just turn my light back on. <laughs> I've uh, got quite a few of them. And there's a mount which has got instructions with it. As you can see, it's got like a little internal pocket. And there's like a little hanger thing. This version does not have any side pockets on it, so I'm going to get the mount put on the bike now. 
and I'm just showing you it's got obviously it's got like a lock on it so you get keys a few things you need there's a wire to like attach it on so now anyway I'll just say this isn't actually an installation video so I'm not going to totally explain how to install it Right, like most instructions these days, they're a little confusing. It, it looks more confusing than it actually is because there's so many, there's so many pictures and you think, what the earth? But it's not. It, the most complicated thing is putting the, the wire in properly. See this wire, there's, there's two holes on each side. The wire's bolted into the top one on this side, so it goes through under, under the stem, up, through the top one on this side, round, through the bottom hole, under the handlebars, over, over the stem, under the handlebars on that side and through to here and I probably need to make sure it's nice and tight before I do anything like cut it off and there's some bolts you then tighten up underneath once you kind of feel it's tight enough As I used to have old handlebar bags that used to sag down and I flipping hated that. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure this wire's like super tight. And then I'll bring you back. Well another thing I just discovered when you put your wire around Leave that one a, just a bit loose. And then, when you've sort of got your bottom two done up and you're happy with the position, then tighten that one up. Now I'm going to find some cutters, cut this wire off and push it into, there's a little hole in there. We're going to push it into that hole. And that's about it. Right, so I push my little bit of extra, extra wire into the hole. I suppose if you want to tighten it up again, you can always pull it out. And if you have, what I've read, if you, if you make a mess of this, you can, I think you can quite easily get replacements. There is actually another type of bracket that will fit this bag. So, just making sure you can see what I'm doing. Well, I'm not sure how this works, but I'll find out. Well, there's a little clip at the bottom, and the key should have put it into place. Yeah, that's now locked into place. Well, the top isn't locked, but I think if you undo this again, you can lock the actual top. 
Yeah, so you put a little thing down, it's locked, the top is now locked down. Right, so yeah. And that's it, it's done. Right, also, I want to put my GPS mount back on. And it's going on there. If this doesn't work properly, I've got um, spare elastic bands. Well, the rubber thing's not underneath it properly. So there you can see the GPS mount is on and hopefully this will go nicely into place because there that's perfect. Right the job is done. And we'll be testing it out soon hopefully in some rain and this is my Ridgeback Tour I think it's a 2017 model anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it interesting subscribe for see what happens next alright bye for now